If you say that Hare Krishna is a cult, the first response you'll probably get from members is that, oh, it used to be a cult, but it no longer is. That was back in the 70s. It isn't. Now, let me first say <clears throat> that to me, whether or not Hare Krishna is a cult is much less interesting or important than the fact that whether the beliefs are true or not. And the beliefs are demonstrably and obviously completely irrational. So I think that's the most important thing to keep in mind when discussing Hare Krishna. But it is a side point, and I think it is very relevant, whether it's a cult or not, especially the world at large. So let me say this. Hare Krishna is very much still a cult. Why do I believe that? Well, because in the Hare Krishna religion, you are required to accept a guru, a spiritual teacher. You are supposed to dedicate your life to this spiritual teacher. You are supposed to accept his words as the absolute truth on every matter. If this person speaks for God, you're supposed to bow down to them every time you see them. You're supposed to worship their feet. You, you are supposed to drink the water that has washed their feet. You're supposed to eat the food they've chewed and spit out. Your identity, your sense of self-worth hinges on his approval. Every day you sing that the only thing that matters are the words coming out from his lotus mouth, that the purpose of your life, your only desire is to please this person. Is there anything that could possibly make something more cultish than that? This Hare, So in my opinion, Hare Krishna is still very, very much a cult because of this notion of guru. Uh, no matter how many reforms there are, as long as this concept of guru is fundamental to it, as long as Prabhupada's words are accepted as the literal truth, and the institution of guru, accepting a living guru, is still practiced, Hare Krishna will continue to be a cult, no matter in what other ways it is liberalized. So, don't be fooled by um, its liberalization or the sort of facade that's been put on Hare Krishna is still very much a cult. And I don't see those aspects changing anytime in the near future. So for the foreseeable future, foreseeable future, Hare Krishna will remain a cult based on the fact that you are supposed to dedicate your life to serving a person. All right. Um, I think that's something that gets lost when if you just see Hare Krishna as teaching a yoga class or singing at a yoga studio or presenting themselves as a chaplain at a prestigious university or whatever, presenting a paper at an academic conference. These are people who believe that you must dedicate your life to a person and serve them. And if possible, drink the water that has washed their feet and bow down to them whenever you see them. And um, that your spiritual life pleasing God depends on literally pleasing this person. You should do whatever this person says you should do. If that doesn't make something a cult, Honestly, what, what would? Um, anyhow, as I said, I think what's much more important is whether the beliefs are true or not, or whether they're rational. The beliefs are clearly not rational. And even in the discussion of what makes something a cult, I think to me the most important thing is that Hare Krishna is very harmful. If you join the Hare Krishnas, your life will be irreparably damaged in significant ways. Um, so those, to me, are the two more important things. But if you want to think about whether it's a cult or not, certainly it is. Absolutely, 100%. It's frankly impossible to deny uh, any philosophy that endorses this notion of guru and the way Hare Krishna's understand it is absolutely a cult. All right, so Hare, yes, Hare Krishna is still a cult, despite not being as culty as it was in the 70s, it is still a cult.